Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Palace Zoo. Today uh, we're gonna build our first habitat for the animals. Uh, yes, because we're building a zoo after all. Uh, yeah, uh, here I'm starting on the first habitat and guess what my first animal is? Uh, it's flamingos. And I actually thought they were pink, but these ones are uh, white mostly. Um, how interesting, they're called greater flamingos. So I guess they are better than the pink ones. But anyway, okay. Doing some terraforming here. Yay. So they need a lot of water because flamingos are birds and birds live in this uh, in the air but these don't they these live near water on the coastal areas of the world mostly in uh, Africa Europe and Southeast Asia and the Middle East that's a lot of the world okay I'm just well they don't like coverage they don't like trees they like like aquatic plants and little bushes and rocks, but mostly water and sand and dirt and rocks. Uh, yeah, but yeah. So I chose flamingos because they are uh, small and they don't need a lot of space. And you can have a lot of them together without them having trouble with the little space issue. And they are commonly found at the zoo entrance area. So that's always good. Here I'm covering up the concrete barrier because that's really ugly and uh, I'm not trying to make something ugly. Uh, I really try uh, sometimes. Uh, I, yeah, it doesn't work, but I, yeah. Okay, moving the habitat here because I made a mistake with placing it down. But uh, anyway, I'm covering the like, I'm basically doing the same thing as in the fountains earlier in the other episode so there's that i'm also breaching the gap between the path and the habitat wall with some stone curbs that will make it a bit more uniform and especially with the plaza we're gonna build later on okay here i built a main uh, keeper's hut i guess it's a bit simpler in style than the entrance building and especially the palace it's just a simple building, but I still wanted to have some sort of class. So, no concrete, it's limestone, but the roof is a bit simple. So, uh, I made a different level here of height to have a bit uh, di well, some diversity in the building, as I usually try to do. But yeah, okay. Now, flamingos need hard shelter because they don't like getting wet, uh, even though they s stay. Uh, in the rain when it rains uh, they need a roof above their heads apparently yeah so doing some trim work because really it's it's really ugly if you don't do anything like this like uh, you, you can see the roof sitting on the wall and then that's that it's hard to detail a building but uh, well in the meantime try to keep it simple that's why i mainly use white for this building because white uh, is simple and uh, easy to work with because everything works with it. Then I put a brown chimney in it and I was thinking why did I do that and I don't know anymore and that's why I deleted it later. Yeah, the chimney didn't mix. I thought well maybe if I use the chimney more often, often then maybe it will mix with all the chimneys and it has chimney friends. But right now it doesn't so I just kept it away. Um, it's placing some doors again because well they need to get in right yeah okay um, pillars yeah so what is your favorite animal I like uh, bears but we won't be seeing them today I uh, know I also tried uh, the weather effects out uh, while building it wasn't a success I couldn't see what I was building so I'm not doing that anymore um, yeah, I like the rain though and the night time and uh, oh. I also forgot this game has a daytime, day, day and night cycle. 
So I started using that and also wasn't a success for building. I like building on midday. Yeah, I am building some educational speakers because people need to know these are greater flamingos and not flamingos. And uh, that's very important, I heard. Uh, need more food stuff. I actually didn't place a food barrel down because one of those watery feeding places is enough for food. I needed to extend the building here because they needed more shelter and some vents on the top. Okay, next animal. Oh my god, what's it gonna be? Is it a plane? Is it a bird? No, we already have birds. It's a camel. Camel named after the cigarette, obviously. Now, uh, I made a little trough. A tr uh, I don't know what the word for it is. But anyway, it's water in a square pond stuff. Uh, did you know, Scamel? Did you know camels can swim? I didn't know that until now. This game really gives you a lot of insight into animals. Yes, uh, so they don't like a lot of coverage either of trees. I placed one tree down for shadow. And that's it. They also don't need any hard shelter. So they their fur gets wet. They don't care. Um, yeah, so I didn't build any shelter for them. I did build a little keeper's hut to the side. And not in the same place as the other one. To have a bit, yeah, to liven it up a little. So, yeah, in these buildings I'm actually placing down the keeper's huts. Um, this is a research center yet. Okay, there it is. Yes. Okay. Once more covering up the fences. Because um, white and white mixes well with everything. So yeah. Okay. Let me talk a bit about the zoo. Now the core of the zoo, which I'm building in this episode uh, for the most part, is like old-fashioned style, like 1900s. You know what we have been going for for the last couple of episodes and then how farther outwards i go with building the zoo the more modern it gets um, in general we use more modern styles of building or wood instead of limestone or like stucco uh, yeah uh, and also i try to update the core of the zoo well i try to build it so that it looks it has been updated over the years um but i still want to re like keep that old-fashioned style here so yeah um extending the floor stuff um yeah the floors really help you uh, make the paths look a bit neater and i know people like to get really into detail with the stuff but i try to find a balance between ma things making making stuff look good reasonably and building uh time because, well, I can build on a building for a long time, but then I will get bored and people viewing it will get bored too. And then people only, uh, only skip through the last few seconds of the video, which probably you already have. But, uh, yeah, that's something I try to uh, find a balance in. So, more cypress trees, cyp uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, they really life live li lively up the area okay some hedges here i needed to make the wall a bit higher there because a baby camel kept escaping and they are prisoners for life so we don't want that so here is the main attraction of this episode a terrace of uh, where people can sit and drink and stuff and i actually this is elevated and then i lower the uh, other side so you have essentially two levels in the same space um, it was a challenge and I actually had fun with it this time because the pet thing is already here <laughs> um, so disabled persons um, how do you say that for wheelchairs and stuff uh, ramp here sorry I've been watching a lot of uh, Star Wars, I'm starting to talk like Yoda. Um, so, 
I am having trouble with finding the right color for these plasters ramps, plast plaster ramps. Um, if anyone has a better idea of what material to use for like flat surfaces, let me know. Maybe I should have used basic pieces, but I haven't tried that yet. Oof, more, uh, more terrain work. Um, yeah, terrain work is always a hassle in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm placing the shops down. Some Missy Goods donuts and some uh, coffee. Starbucks, no. Uh, just coffee. Um, I tried a couple of dif different things and I think I lost a bit of footage in a bit. Uh, one of my trades losing footage, yeah. But I made like some stairs going down there and it all looks really nice and neat. And uh, also a ramp for wheelchairs. And then you can go upstairs and eat it. So your eating place doesn't get congested with people ordering food. Because that's always a hell. Um, prob well, not here probably because it's not a busy theme park. It's still a zoo, which is arguably, arguably not as busy as a popular theme park. Okay. We're starting with the fences. Um... I chose black uh, because we already had white and green and then we missed black because that's our color scheme pretty much yeah now I place them upside down so they can go lower but a problem with these fences is there if you place them uh, in a slanted position the beams of the fence how do you say that the little rods Holding it together are also at an angle and that's not what you see uh, realistically So I probably should have made custom fences, but then this video would have uh, come out a week later So maybe in future I might fix that Also the size of the fences is not ideal always because this Isn't completely symmetrical this little terrace. I messed it up a bit somewhere. I don't know where but yeah, it happened uh yeah, so for the zoo itself, I have a general idea in mind uh, for the uh, design of it. So we have this center diamond shape with the terrace and the surrounding four habitats. There's only two now, but believe me, there's going to be four. <laughs> yeah, and so we have flamingos and camels and they represent a region of the world or an animal type, I guess. Uh, I mean, a uh, climate. I haven't decided yet, but uh, for example, the camels go into the desert region or the climate and there you will find in that area of the zoo, you will find the desert glass house I'm going to build and like animals who need hot weather, which might be a challenge in this European zoo. Uh, and then the uh, flamingos. Well, I, I messed up there because they pretty much live everywhere. But anyway, I'm gonna also build a habitat with Indian peafowls, which are already in the big garden area, but that doesn't matter. They're also in the zoo. So, and from there on out, we're gonna build the Indian rhinos and the Indian elephant. And then we have another corner with, I don't know, some Asian animal, maybe pandas. Ooh, because uh, Schönbrunn. I think has the panda enclosure also in the core of the zoo. I mean, that looks a bit better. It's a roundabout essentially, and this is more of a diamond shape. So, oh, okay. Here I'm building the center building of the whole zoo, which is also based on Shin Brun uh, and Google Images. And I had fun building this. Uh, it took a bit uh, longer than expected, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And it's very different from the habitat buildings. It's a lot more posh and clearly it's been here for a long while. And um, it really closely resembles that building, that cafe building in Schönbrunn. But yeah, um, so roofing and Planet Coaster, uh, Planet Zoo um, is always a bit of a problem. As you can see here, I basically wanted to have one of those ring cake cakes type of shape. Um, but I had to like mess around with it a bit and then yeah blah 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 they interfere a bit with each other but hey it doesn't look that bad uh, in the end I'm actually pretty content with it so here I'm 
placing some flat roof on the top so the water can well I don't know it probably should have been slanted too but yeah okay so here I'm starting to detail this building concrete bunker thing uh, and it looks really bad now but it won't in a second so that's always nice so an issue I'm running in here uh, into here with the terrace is um, the paths are too small I want to have tables everywhere on this terrace but I can't because you can only place those on paths and there there are not paths anywhere because I can't place them right above a building I think uh, I might need to look into that um, because there are some some part of the terrace is above the shop so that's also an issue oh yeah you see uh, some solar panels here and you think you know it has a negative impact on guests it doesn't no the solar panels don't have a negative impact on guests uh, I guess because it's healthy uh, for the zoo I mean for the environment yeah um some yeah more detailing here um very fun um so in the next episode i might work on the glass desert house or the other habitats in the core of the zoo and uh, the indian stuff a bit i'm not sure it, it isn't actually indian themed but indian animals because this is not a theme park zoo this is like a old classic zoo um for the inner part that is okay yeah um it's really coming together um this building now i uh, place some windows on top of each other to make a bigger window <laughs> wow and um then i did that again with even more windows for the other side and i think it's like nearly finished here yeah then i just needed to adjust the placement of the tables to go as far as they could and do some lighting and I think that's it for today now uh, see you guys um, hopefully next episode and I hope you enjoyed this let me know what you think I see you later bye <laughs>